what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to another youtube video today i am unboxing this package that was sent to me by ellie pal they told me that this is a fifth anniversary package and i was under the assumption that they were sending me a hardware wallet and a seed phrase wallet but i opened it up just to see what was going on and there are these folding phone stands so we'll take a look at that but the main idea behind this video is this seed phrase wallet so i'll set this aside and we can see what else is in this packaging and by the looks of it, I think it's all folding stands. I have one folding stand, two folding stands. There's a whole bunch of stickers here. Like, way too many stickers for one person. I, I don't know if this is the wrong package. Two more folding stands, uh, two more, and four more folding stands. So, I guess I'll unbox one of these just to see what's going on. Um, I have... There's so many, like an absurd amount. And let's see. How does this go up? Is it just open? Cool. Oh, these are sick. I didn't realize. <laughs> so they have Ellie Pal on them. I wonder, are they all going to be the same or are they all like different NFTs? Let's open this up. I don't know if there's a right way to open this. I guess it's just you pop. pretty difficult to open. All right, so it's exactly the same. Uh, oh, no, they're different. Okay, so they're all different. And this also opens, so that's pretty cool. You can put your phone on here, charge it, whatever. I'm definitely going to use like two or three of these for my desk. That's great. But... Let's set these aside. These are really nice, surprisingly. I, I didn't expect to get all of these. There's a bullish sticker. Uh, not your keys, not your crypto. And just a whole bunch. Hold, hold to the moon. Seifu. Uh, Hodl. There's, there's so many stickers here. Five years. So this is all because of their five year anniversary. I, I think these are really cool. I didn't realize that they had like the NFTs inside of them. So I don't know why they sent me so many. Maybe they were meant to uh, give away to you guys. I'm gonna reach out to them, but maybe I'll, I'll do a giveaway on my channel. I'll send some people some of these cool, cool NFT Ellie Pal decal phone holders. So, and if you guys are interested in this seed phrase wallet, there will be a link in the description below so you guys can check it out as well as they sell some pretty cool hardware wallets. I don't know if they were going to send me a hardware wallet or not, but um, I got some phone stands instead. So as well as there's a giveaway, but it might already be over on my Twitter uh, for 50 of their NFTs that they're launching on the Polygon. So this is a pretty nice seed phrase wallet. It comes in at $50, I believe, and it's got some information on the back. It's a solid and strong metal used to store this important uh, 12, 15, 18, 21, or 24 word seed phrase and make sure your wallet's backup lasts forever. A seed phrase is a set of words that back up your crypto wallet account. It is a form of private keys. So this is giving you a basic background if you don't know what you're doing. You can use the seed phrase to recover your existing account easily on another wallet if you lose access to your hardware wallet or hot wallet. The product features, it's fireproof, waterproof, mold proof, ins insect proof. It will survive in extreme conditions and for you to hold on to for a lifetime. Easy to set up and use, keep your seed phrase easy to read for a very long time, light in pocket size, and easy to put a lock on as it has this little mechanism here. Ellie Pal seed phrase strictly follows the BIP39 standard, which I've mentioned in every video. It's 2048 words that everyone uses for their seed phrase, and it will allow users to store 12, 15, 18, 21, or 24 words of your seed phrase. You can choose to do two 12 word seed phrases or one 24 word seed phrase. So Let's unbox it. I like the packaging. It's really nice packaging. Um, it's, it, it reminds me of when I'm opening up helium devices. It's cool. That's nice. Uh, there's just a little steel manual. It's telling you to follow the diagram. Letter of the blocks are located in the bottom layer. Each slot uses four letters as standard with BIP39. The letter block for B, Q, D, P, N, U are interchangeable. And it has a mnemonic phrase here so you can write all your words out first. I'm a little surprised at how small this actually is. This is the smallest seed phrase device that I've looked at on this channel. And it's got a nice finish to it. It's a reflective finish. This is Ellie Pal at top. 
And I feel like this, these are a little sharp. I could actually cut myself on that, but that's not the end of the world. It is held in by four screws. So uh, you take out these four Phillips screws on the top and on the bottom. So it's eight total. And then this pops out. You put on all the words and you put this plate back on. The only concern I have for this, like a con, is because the screws are only on this side, there could be a possibility that one of these in the middle bends and one of the keys or letters falls out. So I don't know if that's going to be an issue. It also has this protective plastic that came on it and it was stuck to this foam on the bottom. There should be more in here if I continue going and awesome. So it includes, oh, this is great. So it includes backup screws and I can't even get them out. It includes four extra screws, which is nice. And it has a nice tiny screwdriver. I have a whole bunch of these, so I won't even be needing to use that. As far as the plates, let's take a look at them here. Four X's, just like uh, previous ones that I've reviewed. I, th I find it interesting that when you look at these, there's three X's here and then it goes to T and then X. It's like it splits right down the middle instead of going all the way across. Don't know why they do that. I notice these are also all free floating. So these peel back and you can take the one that you want and then close it back. So they're really, really thin. Um, I don't know if that's gonna be an issue in the long term if these break down really quickly. It's stainless steel, so you don't really expect it to. It won't rust easily. It just kind of corrodes, but in the long run, I'm not sure if these, just because of how small it is, will work. I do got to say, though, I kind of like how small this is because some of the other ones that I reviewed are huge. They're like the size of my hand, and in this case, it's actually relatively small. When it's closed, it fits into the palm of my hand. This can very easily be hidden in your pocket, or it could, honestly, this might fit in your wallet if you really wanted to carry it around with you, but... I don't know why you would. Additionally, it has, like it showed on the picture, a slot for that you can put a lock, but this is a pretty small hole. I have a nail here. Um, it's just like a two inch nail and it, it barely fits in there. So I'm not sure um, what locks would actually work with this. If you need one of the locks that has a cord versus a solid piece of metal, but that's all I got for the Ellie Pow wallet. And thanks, Ellie Powell, for sending this out to me. Like I said, if you guys are interested in this, there is a link in the description below. I'm excited to use this because this is awesome, and I'm going to put my phone on it. I'm getting too excited over a phone, uh, phone holder, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Have a great one. Peace out.